Hello, uh, this is Mr. Waters, and this is our first online calculus lesson. And uh, uh, it, it's going to be kind of, it, it's going to, to make it easier, because we're still getting our feet wet on this, it's going to be over material that we actually covered last week, okay? And you can see from the problem that I've seen here, uh, this is going to be a, a review problem here. And what we're practicing besides the math is the, is the process of you getting the work, and getting the notes and getting the lesson, getting the information and uh, uh, printing it out because this will all be in printed form as well, as well as there will be a, a homework lesson for you to print out and to, to give back to me. And that'll be part of the process of it all where you will be, uh, you'll print out the homework uh, and then you will uh, 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 do the work, obviously. Use your phone to take a picture of it, okay? And then upload it onto Canvas like you would uh, other lessons that may you may have done in English or in in uh, uh, social studies. Okay. All right. So the only thing I ask, by the way, before we even start, is when you take a picture of camera with your phone of your work, please. I'm going to hold it right up here temporarily. Hold your hold your phone in horizontal orientation like this. Okay. That's what we want is when you're taking the picture. Obviously, your phone will be further away from the paper than mine is, but as opposed to the vertical orientation like this, okay, uh, which seems more natural, but when you take a picture and upload it, when you take a picture and upload it, when it actually arrives in camp canvas, the image is rotated 90 degrees so that, was what, so that what was vertical is now horizontal, like this. And what was horizontal, it now will come out vertical. And I'm not sure why Canvas does that. They just do. Okay? So uh, on your, when you take the picture of this, please do it that way. Okay? All right. So anyway, so on to the math. So there we go. On to the math. There, so there it is. Okay. So now um, in this problem, here is the work you're going to do. Remember, we did this last week and had uh, optimization practice notes. And what we're doing here is we're doing this problem. We are finding all points of absolute minima and absolute maxima on the given interval, right? And there is the function that you've got negative x cubed plus 2x squared over, an inter over the interval negative 1 to 2. And then, first off, what I did over on the right was I sketched a graph of it that I found, you know, that I made on my calculator. And on that graph, I hope you can see I've got various points um, sketched and uh, the, the various critical points sketched and the, uh, the points also from the interval. So the first step is find the derivative, right? And the derivative of our function there is negative 3x squared plus 4x, right? Then you set that equal to 0 to find the critical point. And we see there the math be 0 and 4 over 3, right? And so I've got on the graph there, I hope you can see, I've got those critical points marked. Four, a positive 4 over 3, I think I meant 4 over 3 here, and then over here, 0, right? So uh, once you've done that, then you go ahead and you find the y value of that of those critical vertical points to see how high they are and how low they are. And you can see that I've plugged uh, 0 and 4 over 3 into the original function, the function at the top, we're finding what the y value is, right? And for uh, at y equals, at x equals 0, the y value, row, and at x equals 4 or 3, you can see that the function value is about 1.185, which is this value right up there. Okay, which you can see my blurry hand is just finished writing. I apologize for the low quality of them. I'm going to try to improve it. Okay, so um, we've done that. You're going to evaluate the function at the end points of the interval at negative 1 and 2. And you can see that I've done that at the bottom. And that y equals uh, at negative 1, x equals negative 1, the y is 3. And x equals 2, the y value is 0. And so it said red bottom of those, whichever, whichever of these points, the highest high or the low, those are the maximums. And if, it more, and if more than one x values the same max or the same min, then they would be absolute minimums and maximums. So you see here, 
And with this black over on the side, you can see that um, z at, at x equals x equals 0 and at x equals 2 are the two points on the interval that is between negative 1 and positive 2 where it has a minimum value of 0. So we're going to say that x equals, we would say that both x equals 0 and x equals 2 are the absolute or the, as your book may put it, the global minimums of that function on the interval from negative 1 to 2. Not the highest high or the lowest low anywhere on the function, which of course is infinity and negative infinity, but it's the highest and the lowest value on that interval. Okay, And then as you can see, um, one point, and you can see x equals 3, sorry, or rather x equals negative 1 has value of y equals 3. That is over here, you understand. Right there is where that is, okay? And that is the absolute maximum in the interval of negative uh, from negative 1 to 2. So we would say that x equals 2 is the absolute maximum, okay? All right, so that is uh, that is the uh, a quick explanation for how that works, okay? Now, uh, I'm going to post, uh, this video is going to be posted and also a, an image of these notes well, okay? And then and you'll be able to go on the same part of Canvas where we are, where, where you're going to see this video on, for, on the calculus uh, modules. And also uh, this afternoon, and I think I've said it at 1 o'clock, from 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock, I'm going to have a class discussion open, which you can join, and you can ask me questions by text, you know, by, in chat box for the class discussion. If you've done these before in your, um, in your English classes or your social studies classes, it works the same way. You'll be able to link, see a link for those in the same module area as the rest of the information for this lesson. And, um, and, uh, uh, and, and anyway, that, the, the discussion section for this class will be open from 1 to 2. Or you can just email me questions. That'll work too. Anyway, and I'll, uh, I will strive to respond to those by 4 o'clock this afternoon. Okay, so anyway, so this lesson here is going to be due this coming Monday. Will be our next gold day. All right, thank you. And then there will be another video section about maximums and minimums, and which will be recorded after this one and posted next door to this one. Anyway, thank you. Toodaloo.